So I want to tell you, I went to a Thai restaurant last night. Do you like Thai food? Uh, do I like Thai? I've, I can't say I like would be my first choice. What, what's your I, favorite I do food? have an experience of a Thai restaurant where I bit into one of those things that you're not supposed to eat that is like super spicy, okay. hot thing. And my mouth was on fire. So that's my memory of Thai food. So not I had, a pleasant one. I had Thai food Christmas. <laughs> you'll see why I remember this. Christmas Eve back in 2012. And I got violently ill. Oh. I don't know if you ever had that experience where you get sick off of a food and then you just cannot look at that food yes. for years. Yes. I, uh, egg drop soup for me. I got sick eating egg drop soup when I was like six years old. You know what I mean? Yeah, by I egg think drop so. Soup? Yeah, like you kind of crack yeah, the egg. Right, and right. Can't do it. Ooh, even the th oh, really can't, still can't do it. <clears throat> that was that was like forty five years ago, or no, forty six years ago, or something. I still can't do it. And do you think it was because of the egg drop soup that you got sick? Or? Yeah, I think it yeah. was like the, the yeah. Like I think I got food poisoning. Like there's a chance it, I just got sick and I happened to be eating Thai food that night, but I got violently ill. It's the worst thing throwing up, isn't it? I I wouldn't wor wish it on even my worst enemy really yeah i would but um <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm thinking yeah but no so i went went out last night because i was in florida a couple of weeks ago my wife and i had thai food i'm like this is the greatest of all foods i thought it was sushi but i was wrong it's thai food and i'm getting to this age where <laughs> things are going differently like i'm getting ear hair oh. <laughs> i actually Join bought the one of those buzzer oh, so things yeah, yes i have them i yeah i have all kinds of ear hairs growing out of my ears hair on the back of my neck oh, yeah. is growing welcome Welcome to the world. I don't want to question my body. I presume it knows what it's doing, but I can't imagine why this is necessary. <laughs> Have you yet found a hair growing out of the tip of your nose? Not yet. Tell me what that's like. Well, it's not. Right now, they're just the blonde ones, but eventually they turn black. Really? Yeah. That's what I'm told. And that I've seen it too. It's not pleasant. Yeah. So, but, but one thing that's coming with age is this insatiable desire for spiciness like a, a craving yeah i just love spicy food so a couple of weeks ago we we're in florida and you know it's thai so i don't want to be over the top so i'm like yeah just just some spice it wasn't spicy enough so last night on the way to the airport was in florida fort lauderdale went and got some thai food the whole family sitting around and i look at the guy and i went make it thai hot and he's like his eyes widened and he went are you sure i went yes and he went it'll really hurt you and i went get and at that point my family's looking at me i'm not gonna back down <laughs> and so i'm like did i stutter no it isn't so so he brings me he not brings good, me that Matt. not good and i started eating it this was last night last night right before i got so on a flight. How, how are you feeling right now terrific in fact i started eating it and i look at him and i'm like get me some more spice i didn't sound like that <laughs> but he brought me like this pour over like really spicy chili can't do it that i was... ate the entire thing no 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 and it was the greatest experience it was a it was a mystical experience it reminds me of the days where, when i may have made a, when i got high like i felt high well forgive i was like <laughs> people, and at one point my i said to my daughter i'm like touch touch the back of my head <laughs> and so she did this and she's like what i was Sweating, sweating yes out of, of the back of my head well you know they what say what is my body trying to do just there what's <laughs> with that area getting sweaty you're gonna feel this the whole way through yeah i know i just did oh and it was terrific <laughs> <laughs> no not I, not my thing but see, i can't I, do it what i love uh, i know you have a i know you love food because i think one of the first times you and i got together i don't know if i said this last time we had breakfast we went we were at some conference we had right. breakfast and I said something very responsible, like just sausage and eggs. And you said like a milkshake. Remember that? It was like some yeah, like I do remember. chocolate. I, I remember more a conversation. I don't remember the the milkshake, but mm. I, I I remember having good conversation over that, that breakfast. I do love food. Food is, can be, if you have like an appetite like mine and, and, a, and a, a taste for food like I do, it can be a kind of dare I say, a mystical experience. A hundred percent. I mean, the, the taste buds, taste buds are absolutely phenomenal. These little things on our tongue that give such sensory delight. My, my worst, one of the worst periods of my life was the five or six days that I had COVID and I couldn't taste. 
It was it was it was horrible. Did you experience that I when did. you had COVID? How did you become aware of that? What? Th- that I couldn't did taste. Did you lose your taste? Did you lose your smell as well? Yeah, smell and taste was just gone. I remember uh, it was it was the day before I could taste and smell. I woke up the next morning, and I'm eating my breakfast, and nothing was happening. Yeah. And the next five days without it, and I know many people have gone weeks and months from COVID yeah. without taste and smell. That happened to me. Because remember, weeks I was, and months. Uh, I'd say weeks. So that is, I was supposed to come to your house. Remember our family, yeah, and do. then we got COVID. Yeah. But what's funny is, uh, I, did you initially think this is because of COVID, or did you think something was wrong? No, with your I knew. Food? I knew immediately. Oh, I got COVID because I was having these weird body aches and I couldn't figure out what they were. And then when the taste and smell went, I was like, "This is COVID." And interestingly, the only thing I could slightly taste was graham crackers. How weird! Because yeah. that's not a very potent I know, taste. But. I ate a lot of graham crackers during that week <laughs> because I wanted to taste yeah. something. My grandpa lost his taste and smell after falling off a roof. Some sort of accident that led to him losing his taste and smell. Can you Crazy. imagine? He used to joke about his, you know, my grandma could be poisoning, poisoning him and he wouldn't know. I had a, a share an exquisite taste experience that I had just recently. I did a 30-day sugar detox uh, somebody introduced me to it and said, oh, you know, you might sleep better. You'll have various benefits from just getting off all the sugar what's in all of our foods. So I said, all right, I'll try it. And you're slowly reintroducing certain sugars like fruits. After a week or so, you could have an apple. And then after two weeks, you could have blueberries. Matt, these blueberries were exquisite because I had not tasted sweetness for a while and just Adjusting my palate to the experience of putting these blueberries yeah. on my tongue, it was, it was exquisite. And yeah. I, th- I think of how there's a, I forget where in, in the Old Testament it says that the Lord will conform uh, his delight to every palate. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video. 